Hello there, people of the internet. There is some confusion behind antique firearms laws and what classifies things as antiques. So I've been doing some videos on this and I've gotten a lot of comments that are kind of like people saying, hey, no, that's not true. Hey, this is true, etc., etc. So I figured I would do a little bit of research and digging around and try to figure out why people are coming to these conclusions. So, in short, the definition of an antique firearm, if you just want the short version, here it is. Anything made before 1899 is an antique, whether it fires rimfire or cartridges or no matter when the ammunition was made, uh, no matter if the ammunition is available, if it was made before 1899, uh, meaning in the year 1898 or earlier, uh, it is an antique. Now, if you want the longer version as to why people are confused as to why this is, uh, let's go ahead and discuss it. I have me right here the ATF website, and we're going to talk more about this here in a second. I have here uh, the definition that the ATF has on their website. The definition that the ATF is currently using is from the NFA, from the 1934 National Firearms Act. The NFA was amended in 1968, and we'll discuss that here in a second. On the ATF website, it says the definition of the antique firearm for the purposes of the National Firearms Act. They even acknowledge that this right here is the NFA definition. The term, in, uh, the term antique firearm means any firearm not intended or redesigned for the use of rimfire or conventional centerfire ignition with fixed ammunition and manufactured in or before 1898, meaning like uh, muzzle loaders and whatnot manufactured before 1898. Or replica thereof, so a replica of a muzzle loader. That's why muzzle loaders nowadays, you can go out and buy yourself a modern one. This right here is a Spanish made muzzle loader. A modern made one and it is still classified as an antique firearm because it does not take cartridges I have no idea when it was actually made but it was it's it's not made before 1899 but this is where people get confused it says or replica thereof whether they are actually manufactured blah 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 uh, also any firearm using fixed ammunition manufactured in or before 1898 for which the ammunition is no longer manufactured in the United States or is not readily available through commercial sales. What that means is that with the NFA definition that the ATF currently has on their website, which is an obsolete definition by today's law, uh, this right here says that if the ammunition is like a cartridge, like a brass case uh, cartridge firing gun, and it is available on the commercial market, that means that by this definition it is not an antique firearm. So that would mean like something like my 1873 Trapdoor Springfield, uh, despite the fact that it was made in 1882, I think? Since 4570 is commercially available on the market, that would make, make that not an antique firearm, but that is an antique firearm by current law. Because in 1968, the Gun Control Act was passed by Congress, and this right here amended the definition. The definition that currently stands for antique firearm that is different than what the ATF currently has on their website, which is the old NFA definition and not the current 1968 Gun Control Act definition, the definition for antique firearm uh, according to the, 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 the Gun Control Act, it reads, The term antique firearm means any firearm, including any firearm with a matchlock, flintlock, percussion cap, or similar ignition system, manufactured in or before 1898. Now, it also talks about replica firearms, and this right here is also what confuses people. Any replica firearm described in the paragraph, such replica, uh, it is an antique if it is not designed to use rim fire or conventional center fire ammunition, and that's why we can have modern muzzle loaders that do not take like brass ammunition. Uh, those, even though they're modern day, <clears throat> those are still classified as antique firearms. Now, under the Gun Control Act of 1968, uh, any replica, according to uh, paragraph 16, subsection B, sentence number two. Uh, any replica that uses rim fire or conventional center fire ammunition, which is no longer manufactured in the United States 
and is not readily available in the order commercial trade, still classifies as an antique rifle. So if you were to make replicas of, say, 1860 Henry's and 44 Henry Rimfire, which is not available, that would still classify as an antique firearm. So, and then so, uh, paragraph C talks about how muzzle loaders are still antiques. So this is where the uh, confusion comes from. If you want to look at the NFA law, that clause is 26 USC 5845 paragraph G. Now the stated law that I just said, that is from the 1934 NFA. If you want to see the 1968 current up-to-date law from the uh, Gun Control Act, it is 18 USC 921A16. That right there is where you can go and find uh, the current laws. So there we go. Hopefully that clears that up. The current definition from the 1968 Gun Control Act makes everything before, in or before 1898, an antique firearm. And I'm glad that we got all that cleared up. Hopefully this video helped some people out. That being said, thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate your time. Like, subscribe, share. Description below has a link to all sorts of stuff. Go check it out. You guys go up. Have yourself a fantastic day. I'll see you all in the next episode. I've done this. Bonnie and Clyde be damned. <laughs>